So in this video, I want to talk about your vibe, the energy you're putting out into the world, the way you affect people when you haven't even said a word. So let's get started. But before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe and share and definitely put a comment in the video. We really appreciate those comments. I love to get good conversations started. The more conversation, the better. OK, let's dive in. What is your vibe? What do I mean by that? Well, every person in the way I see it gives off a vibe. They give off an energy. They give off a frequency. And you know it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're sitting in a room and you're relaxed and you're having a good time. You got a good vibe coming. And that one person walks in the room that drives you nuts. Doesn't that change your vibe instantly? The way they talk, the way they look at you, their intentions, their attitude. It all affects the way you feel, does it not? Um, what about when you don't even know the person and you're sitting there, let's say you're at the store and you're hanging out, somebody comes over and almost instantly from a distance, you get a sense of, I like this person or I don't like this person. What about when it's somebody that you really suddenly like and you can't even explain why? Have you ever found somebody really attractive, really interesting? Maybe they technically weren't your type. She didn't look like the type you usually go for, but you were drawn to her magnetically. There was something about her vibe. Maybe you hadn't even talked to her yet. Or maybe she said one sentence and you were instantly like, wow, I can really feel her. Or maybe it was eye contact. I've had that happen before where there's eye contact from across the room. And I feel like that person just let me in. And I'm like, wow, she just saw me and I just saw her. And there was a feeling or a vibe between us. Well, this stuff really happens. This stuff is very powerful. We've got mirror neurons. Uh, there's scientists that study entrainment, gazing, and how the effect we have on each other. The energy and the flow between us, a lot of hypnotists are working with that vibe or that energy. Public speakers, singers, we're all working on developing a vibe that is charismatic, magnetic, that pulls people in, pushes people away. And like, think about an actor. I always think about the Joker, uh, the Heath Ledger Joker from Batman and how he really spent hours embodying the character of the Joker, really learning to feel what it felt like to feel crazy so that when he was in the film and you're sitting there, you can feel it come through the film. You can feel the creepiness, the weirdness, the psychotic behavior. And again, this is a vibe. And this is what the actors are learning to do. They're learning to embody the vibe of a character. Some actors are so good at it, they get Oscars. They become A-list celebrities. We get drawn to them over and over again. We hear their name in a movie and sometimes we just want to go see the movie because they're so good at embodying these vibes. What about public speakers? Think about Martin Luther King. I talk about him all the time. Talk about a vibe, man. He didn't even advertise that speech from what I understand. He just was such a good speaker, such a good orator, as they said it at the time, that people were drawn like crazy. People talked about it. he was going to give this talk and it just captivated a nation. It was such a powerful, polarizing talk at that time. And there's so many more people like that in the world. And what I'd love for you to do is think about who in the world has a vibe that you love? Who in the world has a vibe that you think is amazing? Definitely put it in the comment below. And if you got somebody that has a vibe you don't love, that could be famous, that could be a celebrity, definitely put that in the comments too so we can all talk about it. Now, the question I have for you is, do you think these vibes are innate? Do you think they're something somebody's born with or do you think you can develop it well i'm here to tell you they can be developed and that's a lot of what we're learning to do if you're learning to date in the end which a lot of the people watching these videos are you're learning to take on the vibe of somebody that is attractive that is interesting that is makes somebody feel certain things that pulls them in right so as a man who wants to date a woman Maybe I want to let her into my heart and give her the, the sense of warmth through my heart so she feels that warmth. Maybe when I touch her hand, I want her to feel safe and grounded. Or maybe I want her to feel a little challenged and a little turned on, you know, because I'm feeling my turn on and I'm letting her see me get turned on without shame, without guilt, without making it wrong. That's a vibe I'm putting across. Maybe I want her to feel my power and my confidence, that relaxed, centered confidence. And these are things that can be developed and they're developed through embodiment. If you look at actors, what do they do? A lot of actors spend a lot of time 
working on high, high levels of embodiment so they can embody these characters. And then they go out and if they're going to do a character, let's say they're going to do a bad guy, for example, and they want to do a certain type of criminal that has a certain personality, American, Psycho. I haven't actually seen that movie, but it looks interesting. Um, Batman, for example, or any other character. Like, just think of any character. They might get around somebody that like if he's playing a cop for example they might ride with cops for a while and really watch the way the cops walk talk think and carry themselves they're not just trying to act like a cop they're literally moving like a cop walking and talking like them walking like the character they're playing learning to really embody that character well you can do the same you can literally embody confidence you can literally embody turn on you can literally embody heart and love for other people and you can literally let that out like a vibe like a signal a radio signal you give away to the world so that the world gets pulled back to you and this is why some of the best actors in the world aren't the best looking right think about some of the leading men out there there are really good looking leading men, but there's some leading men out there that are average looking dudes, but they're such, such strong vibes. They become naturally charismatic to women. I mean, back in the day, think about Al Pacino. What is he, 5'7"? It's not that good looking, right? But yet he had a charisma about him. He had a power about him. He had a strength about him. Matter of fact, I would argue that some of the best actors in the world are able to embody stuff that makes them look either attractive unattractive nervous and reactive or powerfully confident just by changing their level of embodiment one character i think about is the actor and you guys can put him in the comic i can't i can't remember his, it'll come to me in a second but the actor that played jason Bourne, right and uh that actor when he played jason Bourne, was so still especially the first jason Bourne, and so confident and so solid under pressure he really embodied proactiveness and non-reactiveness and it made him really charismatic on camera but then when he was in oceans 11 do you remember he went out and played that nervous character in oceans 11 he was doing running a con and there's this nervous reactive character and he had his little glasses i think and i don't remember exactly we'll see if we can find the scene but but that character was the complete opposite of the jason Bourne character right and you could feel the difference, the lack of confidence, the nervousness, the reactiveness, the lack of embodiment or his ability to turn down that confidence through turning down his embodiment. And that is interesting, isn't it? So you really do have control over the way you're seen. You have control over the way things come across. You can change it. You can move it. You can really carry it out into life in a powerful way by practicing embodiment. And that's what I do here. I love to teach people how to be embodied, not for acting, not for stuff like that, but for life. So as you learn to really enjoy life and talk to people through an open heart, through love and peace and joy, people will feel it. They'll be drawn to you. As you learn to drop into your stomach more, have an open heart and have your stomach more, you're going to feel more power on your body, more strength. They are too. And they're going to feel more confidence. Less thought will go on because you're more in your body. And as you drop down into your turn on and start to really enjoy your turn on with another person, they're going to feel that too. And when you have heart, turn on, confidence all coming from this body not from your head not as a thought then people are going to truly perceive you differently especially women doesn't matter if you're five foot two or six foot two and i know this because i have one client who just destroyed it with women at five foot two and he was terrible when he came to me actually i have more than one but he stands out because I've been working with him this last week on something else. And he's married today to such a beautiful woman, such an incredible human being. So when people say, it's your looks, it's the luck of the draw and genetics, it's your money. I'm not saying those things don't help. Really good looks like a Chad can pull a woman in, but can he keep her? Or does she just stay around for his looks and really lose interest and lose respect for him if he's not embodied? What about somebody with money? Money can draw a woman in, but 
does she respect him? Does she love him? Maybe, maybe he's got the confidence to go with the money and she's completely enamored. Or maybe she's just there for the money. And then there's the guys who are just really solid inside. You get the women regardless of the money, regardless of the looks. <laughs> there might be less of those men, more than there's more of those men. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but they're out there. And if one person can do it, you can do it too. And I've seen tons of them through the work I do. You know, you don't have to be gorgeous. You just have to have that vibe. Matter of fact, I can think of the best guy I've ever known with women. He's about my height. He's about 5'8". He lived in a van. He had no money. And that guy used to get woman after woman after woman. I can think of another natural I hung out with. He was good looking. He wasn't model looking, but he was good looking. But he was fresh out of prison, on parole, with no job, no money, no prospects. And he had woman after woman. I can think of another natural. He was average looking. He lived in a van also. He lived out back of a restaurant and he worked at a restaurant, skateboarded, bicycled. You know, he's a competitive mountain biker. And um, he had woman after woman after woman. Matter of fact, I can think of so many guys that didn't have a lot of money. They were decent looking guys, average looking guys that slayed it all because of their embodiment. I can almost think of more of those than I can think of guys that were chads that had woman after woman. Maybe that's because I looked for those guys in my profession or I hung out with, I wanted to hang out with them. When I found them, I wanted to make friends with them, but they exist. So what is your vibe currently? And what kind of vibe do you want to develop? You know, where is your vibe lacking? Is it heart? Or do you think too much and we can't feel you? Is it your confidence, which is your gut? Is it your turn on? Is it your grounding? Your ability to stay solid under pressure? What is it that you want to develop more of to increase that, that vibe, to tune it up a little bit, to be the best version of you, the version you were designed, not somebody else, but the best version of you so that you put off that signal that is nothing but magnetic to the world, not just with women, but for your job, with your family, with everybody so that people can feel you and trust you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment below. I want to hear your comments on that stuff. You know, it's important. And uh, definitely check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. If you haven't already, we'll put a link in here. And remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.